Not only are we obsessed with the latest Hollywood hearsay, but we never stop craving to learn every last intimate and trivial detail about their sex lives. If you look back at the tabloid rags from many years ago, you'll find they're jam-packed full of juicy details about old Hollywood actors and actresses who hooked up during the filming of some of the most influential films of their era. Join Factsverse as we discuss which Hollywood film stars from yesteryear were hooking up with each other when the cameras weren't rolling. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton While filming Cleopatra, Taylor and Burton got involved in what would become one of the most infamous affairs in Hollywood history. Taylor was married to Eddie Fisher when she was selected to play the Egyptian monarch Cleopatra. Burton likewise was married to Sybil Williams when he was cast as Cleopatra's Roman love interest, Mark Antony. The two met while shooting publicity shots before production began. While the photographers were capturing photos of Taylor, Burton reportedly asked if anyone had ever told her how pretty of a girl she was. At first, their working relationship started off fairly rocky. Taylor found the alcoholic Welsh actor to be brutish and boorish, while Burton called Taylor a somewhat crass nickname that we'll decline to mention. After filming their first kiss scene and director Joseph Mankiewicz called Cut, he had to yell out Cut again and again because the two stars simply wouldn't stop making out. Rumors about their onset romance quickly spread like wildfire, and a global publicity disaster ensued that would even earn its own nickname, Le Scandal. The Vatican even felt compelled to comment on the matter, referring to it as erotic vagrancy. Taylor and Burton subsequently divorced their respective partners and tied the knot with each other. Eventually, they too got divorced, only to remarry and once again get divorced. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse for more. And stick around for more stars who definitely hooked up. Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall While working on the film To Have and Have Not together, Bogart, who was 44 and married at the time, and Bacall, who was 19 and appearing in her first film, ended up striking up a romance that led to them becoming one of the most iconic Hollywood couples in history. The duo started off their relationship relatively slow, flirtatiously fooling around with each other on set while enjoying the chemistry they shared. Once they had appeared together in the film's most famous scene, in which Bacall asked Bogart if he knew how to whistle, the film's cast and crew already had a pretty good idea they had something going on behind the scenes. Bogart started calling Bacall baby as they walked around the set holding each other's hands. And while most Hollywood romances end up eventually fizzing out, the two went on to stay together until Bogart's death 13 years later. Katherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy These two were introduced to each other over lunch while discussing their respective roles in their upcoming film, Woman of the Year. Although she would later deny ever saying it, rumor has it Hepburn told Tracy she was too tall for him. This remark reportedly inspired director George Stevens to say she shouldn't worry because Tracy would cut her down to size. Whether that exchange ever actually happened or not, it perfectly exemplifies Hepburn and Tracy's flirty, cheeky, and at times even antagonistic relationship that would go on to become one of the most famous Hollywood love affairs in history. Tracy was married at the time and remained so until his death, and he apparently lived in constant fear that his wife would find out about his and Hepburn's on-again, off-again relationship. The couple would go on secretive lunch dates together and would spend loads of time in each other's dressing rooms rehearsing. They would continue this even during their MGM days when they were no longer working on films together. The couple appeared in eight more films after Woman of the Year, and although they were often said to be dating other people, they never stopped seeing each other whenever possible. John Gilbert and Greta Garbo While Gilbert, the silent film star, was dubbed the great lover of the silver screen for his uncanny ability to gaze longingly into the eyes of gorgeous women, Greta Garbo was famous for being one of the most iconic Hollywood actresses of her time. In 1926, MGM Pictures cast Gilbert and Garbo in their romantic feature, Flesh and the Devil, and their on-screen chemistry was unmistakable and intense. Director Clarence Brown said that by the time they filmed the first love scene, it was like no one else was on set. Gilbert and Garbo were in a world of their own. He further revealed he even felt like it was a bit of an intrusion to yell cut. Rather, he would merely motion to the crew to move to another part of the set so the two lovebirds could finish up having their steamy moment. At the time they got together, Gilbert was in the middle of a nasty divorce with Leatrice Joy, but that didn't stop him from asking Garbo to marry him. While Garbo said yes, apparently she never showed up on their wedding day. Full of heartache but still not yet defeated, Gilbert proposed to Garbo twice more, each time getting turned down. 
Gilbert and Garbo appeared in three more films together, Queen Christine, A Woman of Affairs, and Love. Gilbert passed away at age 38 in 1936 after suffering a heart attack at his Bel Air home, and Garbo never remarried. Ingrid Bergman and Roberto Rossellini These two Hollywood lovers began dating while working on the film Stromboli. Both Bergman and Rossellini were already married, and their affair tarnished their wholesome images and resulted in Bergman losing many of her fans. While seeing each other in secret, Bergman got pregnant with the first of their children. The resulting scandal was so big that Bergman was told she should remain in Europe. U.S. Senator Edwin C. Johnson of Colorado harshly condemned Bergman, calling the publicity surrounding her affair with Rossellini a powerful influence for evil. In 1950, the couple got married after divorcing their respective spouses. Bergman later appeared in the 1956 film Anastasia, which earned her a second Academy Award. Clara Bow and just about everyone she ever starred alongside. Seemingly every week, the tabloids would pair Clara Bow with another Hollywood star. She was one of Hollywood's first sex symbols, being the it girl of her era, and the gossip rags of the time had a field day covering her many liaisons. It's rumored she hosted orgies with the USC football team, slept with both dogs and women alike, and got it on with just about every male star she came across. Errol Flynn and Beverly Adland Flynn was well known for his love of women, booze, and drugs. He was a playboy hotshot who made headlines after he was accused of statutory rape. Peggy Satterley and Beggy Hansen were both under the age of consent when Flynn slept with them. But after they brought their case to court, Flynn was acquitted. Despite dodging a legal bullet, the headlines covering the scandal haunted him much longer. Around this time, the tabloids documented his relationships with Hollywood actresses like Marlene Dietrich, Carol Lombard, and Lupe Velez. Flynn's affair with his 15-year-old Cuban Rebel Girls co-star, Beverly Adland, didn't result in a great deal of negative publicity for the star until after his death, when Adland's mother published a tell-all book detailing the relationship. Cary Grant and Randolph Scott When these two actors met on the set of Hot Saturday, they struck up an immediate friendship that, according to some accounts, developed into something a bit more than that. The two would regularly go on dates with young Hollywood starlets with each other. They would get a few publicity shots taken with the ladies before taking them home and then would head out partying with each other at the Brown Derby or Trocadero before returning to the bachelor pad they shared. The two eventually moved into an enormous mansion they called Bachelor Hall. A great deal of speculation about the nature of their relationship arose after several publicity photos were taken of them depicting them living a pretty intimate life together. While both actors later married several different women, they remained exceptionally close for the remainder of their lives. While it's unclear whether or not they were actually lovers, Grant's daughter insists Carrie wasn't gay or bisexual. It's also worth mentioning that the rumors of Grant and Randolph being lovers didn't start circulating until the 80s. Now it's time to hear from you. Can you think of any other actors or actresses that got together with their co-stars back in the day? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.